So this one's the old uh, mathematics lab. You can see this is where the students used to stay and study. It still says mathematics and ratio on the board. And you can see this, this whole place is just bombed out. I slaughter Boko Haram with this. I used to slaughter them. So formerly this, what appears to be abandoned building, was the departure lounge of the Madaguri airport before Boko Haram seized this town and basically no civilian flights have gone out of here in two years. Now it's become the ammo supply point, the logistical hub for the Nigerian army and they're actually going to make their departure from here into the areas that are still controlled by Boko Haram. I had the opportunity to sit down with Private Jeremiah Friday who's stationed at the de facto staging base at the Mudaguri airport. Jerry, as his squad mates call him, is a proud ranger in the 72nd paratroop unit based out of Makuti in Banu State. Along with 300 of his fellow soldiers, he's preparing for war. Jerry, how do you feel about the effort against Boko Haram? Do you think this is important? Yeah. We need to come here so that we can settle the peace because the innocent have been dying. They've been killing the innocent. So people have run away from their homes, make them homeless. Those that are in school, they make them run away from school. The business, no business no anymore. You feel good about going after Boko Haram? Yeah, I want to fight for my country. And if I die for my country, I know I die for my country. When the Boko Haram started, they were like burning churches. So people thought they were Muslims. Who are these people? They fight the Christian, they fight the Muslim. So nobody knew about them. We believe they are just, they are devils. They don't have heart. So they are not Christian, to me, I'm a Muslim. And here in your unit, you have Muslims and Christians, right? Yeah. We love each other. The Muslim pray, the Christian sit around and watch them as Babudi Budi, no problem. The Muslim and the Christian, we are all good. We are friends, brothers. We pray together. The Muslim go to mosque, the Christian go to church. We pray finish, we come back to Musta Parade. Everybody's fine, no problem. I saw you doing the, the bench press the other day. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I just do you party. have to train, right? Yeah. You have to no, be ready. ready. Train hard fight easy. Yeah. Mm, so I believe when I train hard I'll fight easy. Yeah. And when you train hard, you bleed less during the war time. While Private Friday's platoon was preparing for an offensive, we got word that a Nigerian outpost was attacked by Boko Haram and there were two wounded soldiers who needed medevac. We hopped a ride to join one forward unit tasked with defending the front line in the city of Kundaga. Their location was 35 kilometers from Madaguri, at the very edge of the conflict where no journalist had previously been allowed. So the men of the 103rd Battalion have been deployed here for almost a year. They come from all over Nigeria. This particular fire base, it's basically loaded with ammunition and weapons. You can see even here behind me, this is where somebody sleeps among these ammo containers. And that's because this is you know, the very front line of the fight against Boko Haram. This particular fire base has been attacked 13 times, uh, most recently just last week. Uh, but the guys here are very proud of the fact that this village has never been overrun since they've been deployed here. And they've suffered only a single combat loss, and that's when one of their fellow soldiers who was shot in the head and killed by a sniper right over the wall. Let them come. If they come now, you see what will happen. Who kick their fucking ass, motherfuckers? <laughs> Cut them. I have my commando knife. I slaughter Boko Haram with this. I used to slaughter them with this. When I get them, I slaughter them. The formation that they're using to push into Boko Haram territory is an arrowhead formation. So the rest of the forces flank out in this direction, and at the very tip is this T-72 tank and these trenches, these you know four-foot deep trenches that are dug behind me. And, and why is this place significant? Because, um, as I used to say, I have a small sketch I used to uh, discuss with people about. If um, this place is captured, Boko Haram will have easy access to Meduguri. So this place is very vital because it's an access from the Sambisa forest just to the south. Not far away from here. Like six, kilo six kilometers away from here is the Sambisa forest. And we know since the Nigerian army has been on the offensive that they've been fleeing to the Sambisa forest, right? Yes, yes. 
and they take refuge in there. Yes. And then they come out and they try and approach this area. Yes. One thing that I noticed about observing your unit is that you don't have, you have staff officers, but your staff officers are in the trench also. Yes. There's nobody back at headquarters. Yes. <laughs> it's, you're the intel officer and this is your trench, right? Of course. Mm. Yeah. Everybody is a trained infantry officer. Um, and everybody is deployed in the field as first, primarily as a soldier. Yeah, this is your office in many ways. Yes. <laughs> you have a tent over there yeah. where you keep your things, yes. but primarily you sleep, sleep and live here. here. Yeah, of course. So you sleep right here. Yeah, I put my cam bed here, I sleep here. Yeah, and why is that? Yes, here you don't sleep far away from your trench because this book could crawl. Hmm. When they crawl, they come close to your trench and begin to engage you. So you have to be close enough. There is a bigger sentry there that observes the activities of the night. Yes. Those ones do not sleep absolutely. They have two hours shoot. After two hours, another person comes in. But you have to be here so that once you hear any firing, you dash in and then you return fire. When this firebase gets attacked by Boko Haram, everybody comes and jumps in this trench and starts firing back. Uh, you can see they've basically shot the shit out of that series of buildings that the Boko guys have been attacking from. And if you look at this berm right here, it's just littered with shell casings. Captain Michelle was another soldier who had a special relationship to Madaguri. It happens to be my state. As I'm talking to you, my parents are in Meduguri. They have been displaced from my own village, Shafa. So what do you expect me to do? Yeah. I just have to do this. Even if I'm here, even if I'm not here, if I am asked, will you come here voluntarily, I will come because my family is in Medjugorje. And they attack from the school? Yeah. That's why it's all shut up. Yeah. So that was a school right there? That is cool. How do you, do you ever think about like, oh my God, we're shooting at a school? You don't think of that one because you only think of what the enemy can do and you don't allow them to get to you. Yeah. Because once you allow them to overrun you, then things will get worse over 20 different attacks and I believe over 1,000 Boko Harams died here. You've killed over 1,000 Boko Haram here? Different attacks, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. We will protect wherever we are deployed with our lives. Here, every soldier is ready to die defending this ground. Here. And here we live. We are one family here. While the 103rd is at the tip of the spear, they're supported by more forces camped out at a former school a thousand meters behind the front line. So basically this is the old Kunduga Girls Elementary School. Um, it's now being occupied and used as the brigade headquarters for the army. You have soldiers sleeping in classrooms. Um, the old principal's office is now the operations office. So this used to be the guidance counselor building. Um, now it's a depot for ammunition. RPG rounds laying around. So this one's the old uh, mathematics lab. You can see this is where the students used to stay and study. Still says mathematics and ratio on the board. And you can see this, this whole place is just bombed out. Two schools that used to be places of learning and education had now become graveyards. This morning starts the invasion of Bama, so I'm gonna be in one of the attack helicopters. 